In this lecture, we're going to talk about the next React lifecycle hook, which is component did mount. Component did mount is a React lifecycle hook method executed after the render method. Component did mount is invoked immediately after the component is mounted in the UI, or you can say into the UI tree. If you want to load data from the remote endpoint, this is the good place to add the network request. Let me show you how you can add this method inside your component. So I'm going to just use my previous example to add this method to complete this mounted phase of the component. So as you know, when the component is mounted, it will first call the constructor, then call this get derived state from props method, and then call this render method. Now after this render method, react call component did mount method, or you can say component did mount hook. So let me just call here this hook call component did mount. So I'm going to simply say here component did mount. Make sure the name of this component is exactly match. Here I'm going to call parenthesis and pass curly braces here. So what I'm going to do is inside this hook, I'm going to simply call this console.log message like this and just copy this method and specify that here. Let me reload my browser. As you can see, when the component is mounted in the UI, it will first call the constructor then call get derived from props, then it will call the render method, and at the end, it will call component did mount. For now, let me just add a comment to this method, because we are focusing on this component did mount method. So I'm going to just comment this method for now, and inside this method, I'm going to simply change this state value. Let me show you what happens if I change the state value inside this component. So here I'm going to simply first call set timeout function, and inside it, I'm going to call a callback function, like this and I'm going to execute this callback function after one second. So here I'm going to say 1000. Inside this callback function here I'm going to say this dot state dot set state. I'm going to call set state method and pass here curly braces. I'm going to just change the value of this state property called favorite color. So I'm going to use that here like this and change it to yellow. Now let me just save this file and show you what happened if I change this property. As you can see, after one second, set timer will execute the callback function and change our state to yellow. Let me just increase this timing. Here I'm gonna say three seconds. Reload my browser. And after three seconds, as you can see, React will change my state to yellow. After three seconds, set timeout will execute my callback function and change my state. And I'm gonna have yellow inside my UI. Did you notice inside my console, I'm going to have here a message, render call. When you change the state of your React component inside this component did mount method, after that, render method will automatically call. Because whenever you change your property or state, React will recall this render method. You can notice here, React will call this render method two times. First, when the component is mounted, and second time, when the state or property changes. You can also notice here, once the state is changed, React will call the render method again. But after that, React will not call this component did mount because this method is executed or you can say invoke only once. Component did mount method executed after the first render only on the client side. This is where the Ajax request and the DOM or state update should occur. This method is also used for integration with other JavaScript frameworks and any function with delay execution such as set timeout or set interval. You can do all that things inside this component did mount method. Whenever you change your state or property, React will call a render method again, but it will not call this component did mount method. Now, how many times the component did mount is called? By default, the React component will only call component did mount once. The only way it will get run again is if you delete the component or change the key props value. When the component is mounted, it will first call the constructor. Then call this get derived state from props hook. Then it will call the render method. And then at the end, it will call this component did mount method. Now, let me just uncomment this method and specify this property to this state. But I'm going to just change the state after three seconds. You can notice here. So I'm going to just specify this property here, just like this. Back to my browser and load it. Oops. I just misspelled here this keyword. Let me just reload the browser. After three seconds, you can notice I'm going to get different lifecycle methods. It will first call the constructor, then call get derived state from props method, and then call the render method. After that, you know that I'm going to get component did mount method. 
but inside this method as you know i'm going to just change this state value using property when you will change your state using property it will call this get derived state from props method so react will call this method again and as you can see here we have read value inside your property as well as inside my state and at the end it will call this render method to render the component because as you know whenever the state or property changes react will always call the render method now i hope you understand the mounted phase of react component api next we'll talk about the update phase of react lifecycle hook